Mrs. Beecham, Michael Hall, Deputy Director of Operations for Unscheduled Care. And I can assure you we have everything under control. The dead nurse in recess tells me otherwise. Mr. Hall, Rita Freeman, clinical nurse manager. Ah, excellent. You'll be next on my list. You idiot, you trying to kill me? Jumped up Barley! To the left of the hole. Do you feel that's your responsibility? If I can do it, yeah. I'm his son. It's my job to look after him. Or is this an opportunity to win him over? <sighs> no. To get his approval, his love. He loves me. Does he say that? He doesn't need to. Yes, I don't see why not. It's some years since the last procedure. The nose has held up well. McIndoe, unless I'm mistaken. That's right. How much will it cost? Oh, my secretary will give you the list of my fees. Can I say, dear Margot, I saw you at the Wells in the 30s when I was a medical student. There but the grace of God, though, wouldn't you say? The similarities are striking. Young, beautiful women, both of whom Carl King knew well. Both of whom had taken or had a hand in taking a substantial sum of money Objection, from him. Your Honor, the Mr. details Miss of which Dingle, pertaining to Miss Dingle are not, not relevant, relevant in this case. Hey, I know what he did his workmates don't. It doesn't worry you? He keeps himself to himself. Crowds get to him. He can't bear the tube, traffic, walks everywhere, won't carry a mobile. Where's the quiet gone? That's what he says. And was he here all day Wednesday? Yeah, except for lunch. He had to do something for his fiance. What time's lunch? One till two. He was half an hour late back, though. I told him he's called a quickie for a reason. Nurse Chilton. Having gone over your clinical incident form, can you now talk us through what happened when Dr. Keogh said he wanted you to shock the patient? I don't know. I'm sorry? Lofty? It all happened so quickly, I didn't have time to think. What are you saying? No, I'm saying that I, I, I didn't have time to check before I gave the order to clear. Do you have any idea how much your actions will cost the trust? Not to mention the adverse publicity for the hospital. A woman's lost her life and all you care about is your hospital budget. How could you have been so stupid? Reaction's been incredible. We've only been in circulation for, what, three hours, three and a half hours? We've had over 200 responses. Mostly emails, some texts, I don't know what the percentage is. All good, though. When you get that much interest and support, something's going to happen. Did you see page five? I ain't got there yet. David Bell. He's put up a reward. Five grand. When money's involved, someone's going to know. It's a team decision. But to be honest, I'm concerned about you. And your reasons for doing this. And I would have concerns about your welfare if you proceed with a live donation. Concerns I believe the transplant centre would share. This goes no further than these four walls, do you understand? Darren, remember, are you serious? Is that what the posh cutlery's in aid of? Practicing for dinner with the president? Oh, this is great! Oh, this is hilarious! Stop crying about it, eh? Get off me, you Stop! Do something old-fashioned! Come on, yeah.